Why, well, hello everybody, it's me, Tiny the Cold Bucket Outlaw. I bet it, I bet y'all thought I went MIA, didn't you? Some days that's what I thought too. But no, I'm still here, still kicking, still beating my head against the working drum. You know how it goes. I'm, I'm sitting here at work right now, just hanging out, waiting my turn. So I figured I'd bring you a video. Uh, like I mentioned before, I, I started writing stuff down because with my ADD, I just, I'm all over the place. And uh, that don't make for good, good video. I don't, I don't think. I'm sitting here talking about being safe and, oh look, a butterfly. You see that pink elephant? You know what I'm saying? So now I write it down so I can bring you a little bit more of what I want to bring you without bouncing all over the place. Again, I am Tiny, the Cold Bucket Outlaw. And I just want to say I miss y'all. Y'all family. This is the CBOL family, Cold Bucket Outlaw family. And I hope you've joined. And if you haven't, down here somewhere, there's a subscribe, like, and share. Let's make this family worldwide. Come on, people. And uh, bring me bring me some insight on what you want me to share. What, what kind of stuff do you want to see me do in a video? What kind of knowledge do you want me to bring your way? Today we're going to do uh, road construction. It's road construction season once again. Believe it or not, it comes around every year. Without a doubt. And it, it raises blood pressure because you gotta slow down and you gotta stop. You got somewhere to be, by golly, you bet. You gotta get there. You ain't got time for this stuff. But on the other hand, we want to complain about the roads being tore up. We want to be. We want to complain about. You know, just all this stuff. They're trying to fix it. Let them fix it. Let them do it safe. I just wanted to highlight construction zone safety. Now I know we all have somewhere to be, but that doesn't mean the people working in the work zone doesn't deserve to be safe while doing their job. I want you to think about it. Whatever kind of work you do, you want to do it safe? You want to go home at the end of the day to your family or your friends or whatever the case is. We all either have family or friends or fur babies or whatever. So if I don't, let's, let's make it safe for them and for us, because you don't want it on your conscience if you killed somebody on accident. And I'm sure that's what it would be, an accident, because you were in a hurry. You don't have time to slow down. You don't have time to move over. You don't have time to stop for a flagger. You got somewhere to be more important than they got to go home at the end of the day, and I'm here to tell you that's farthest from the truth. I used to work in the in the construction zones. I was I was one of them flaggers that like to piss many people off because I gotta stop you. Because we have one lane of traffic and everybody gotta get somewhere. You know, they all have family and friends just like you and me. <clears throat> well, let's all do the right thing and slow down. I keep everyone safe this construction season. Yeah, it's not summer, it's construction season, and it comes around every year. Again, as I always say, be safe in all you do, 10-4. Do you know the four seasons? Especially here in Utah. Hey, I'll tell you. We got winter, still winter, more winter, and finally construction season. I'm sure that's more than just here in Utah. I'm sure that's that's everywhere. But I live in Utah, so that's what I go by. So, uh, will you do me a favor? Let's remember to stay safe, slow down, move over, whenever in work zones. And not just work zones, if there's a, a police officer that has somebody pulled over, Please slow down, move over if you can. 
they're just doing their job too. And I'm in the same boat with y'all. I, I ain't got time for it. I, I ain't got time for it. And then I sit back and I remember my wife and my kids. And by God, I make time. Will you do the same? Honestly, deep in your heart. Let's, let's be safe. Let's make work zones safe. Officers, fire department, emergency tow trucks. Man, I've even driven a tow truck and it can be scary. People don't want to slow down whizzing by you on the freeway. I want to go home. I, and I know you want to go home too. So let's just slow down. If you haven't joined the CBOL family, the Cold Bucket Outlaw family yet, no matter where you are near for, come on, join the family, won't you? Let's grow this family. Let's make it worldwide. One place for us all to unite. Like, share, subscribe. And there's even a Facebook page called Bucket Outlaw. Come on. I'd love to see you there. I'd love to get some input, some resources. What do you want to hear? What can I bring your way? What can I do for you? Consider me like a public servant. Tiny the Cold Bucket Outlaw wants to do it for you. So let's let's get it done, man. Let's get it done. Let's make this the CBOL, CBOL family worldwide. And remember, you heard it here first from Tiny the Cold Bucket Outlaw. Be safe in all you do every day and every way. And let's look out for each other. I know that's something that don't really happen anymore. It used to, back before I was a twinkle in anybody's eye. Back when I was growing up, I could play in the streets. Time to go home when the street light come on, or mama went on the porch and hollered for me. Now, it's, it's a crazy world. We've got to stick together. So why don't we do it? Just be safe. And I can't stress it enough. Safety, safety, safety. No matter what season it is. Because somebody's life that could be taken has a family. They have friends. And it's near and dear to my heart for everybody to be safe. Y'all have a good day. And I hope to get another video to you soon. And I hope you join the family. Subscribe, like, and share. Share, share. Thanks for watching my video. And y'all have a blessed day. This is Tiny the Cold Bucket Outlaw saying bye-bye.